What's up guys, it's Cody here. And if you guys didn't know, the new iOS 13.2.2 jailbreak has been released for specific devices. If you guys haven't looked at that, I've already done a tutorial on how to jailbreak your device in the description below. Now keep in mind, this is only going to be for some devices, not all devices. So I'll describe all the caveats to this jailbreak in that video, so check it out. So if you're having issues jailbreaking or you're already jailbroken, then this video is for you. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you all the compatible jailbreak tweaks that you can download and install right now with the list that is updating continuously. Also, if you're having issues, maybe you're in a boot loop and you need to get that fixed or you downloaded a bad tweak, then I'm gonna show you how to get out of that and fix your device so you can jailbreak again. And I'm gonna give you all the sources or most of the sources that you're going to need in order to install a lot of these tweaks. And I'm gonna show you a really easy way to install all these sources with a batch mode. So let's go ahead and get into it. This is gonna be a pretty short video, but I still wanted to show you guys all of these links. Of course, all the links to all of these uh, sites, I'll put a link in the description below for you guys so you can just click on it. But for the most part, this is going to be the check rain compatibility sheet. So this is a sheet that is being worked on right now continuously. You can see there's you know about 90 people on here that are looking at it or editing it and it's continuously being updated right now because the jailbreak just came out so this is going to change so it's something you just want to kind of keep up and take a look at and if it has green right by the tweak that means that it's working so you can look through all of these look for all the green tweaks and then download those if you'd like to now of course if you guys want to see a jailbreak tweak video showing the best tweaks that are working for ios 13.2.2 right now then let me know by hitting the like button on this video. Maybe I'll do another top tweak video for you guys. So this is pretty self-explanatory, but for the most part, you have your tweak, you have your compatibility, your price right here, which is nice. That's not always there. So it's good that it's on this one. It has the repo that you need to have installed in order to get these tweaks, the version, device model, iOS version that it's working on. And then if there's any comments for these particular tweaks, then they're gonna be right over here. So right now there are a ton of tweaks that are compatible and that are working. So if you want to do this yourself, then you can. Again, if you guys want me to curate a list and do a video for that, then let me know. So that link will be in the description. The next one is a list of jailbreak sources that I put together back on iOS 12, and it's still compatible, obviously, with iOS 13. So repos don't change from iOS to iOS. It's all dependent upon the developer. So if some of these don't work, we're actually gonna try this here in just a second so I can show you guys how to install it really easily. Then you would just remove that particular repo from the list and try again. So I wanna show you guys really quick on how to install all of these in a very, very easy way. So the first thing that I checked on this compatibility list is Flame. So if you're looking for a particular uh, tweak, you can just do a command F and then type in the name of the tweak and you can see Flame. So Flame is a tweak that I download and install immediately once I jailbreak my device because it's just really helpful in installing tweaks and makes Cydia a whole lot more useful. So you can see it's green and it's working. So what I wanna do, I'm gonna switch over to my phone and I'm gonna show you how to install all these sources really quick. So we're gonna go into Cydia here and you can see I've already looked for Flame and I haven't installed any sources yet. So this is one that's in the Big Boss repo which should be installed by default and then we're going to install this one. So once this installs, we'll be able to use the batch mode on Cydia sources. So we'll go ahead and respring the springboard or restart the springboard. And then once that comes back up, we'll just go directly back into Cydia. And then we're going to go to sources and you can see we don't have very many sources here. So we're gonna add a bunch of them. So we're gonna go to that page that I just showed you. Actually, I had it up, but it's not up anymore. So this should be it right here. So this is the paste bin. So what you wanna do here is just tap okay, I understand. And then we're going to copy all of these. And make sure you get every character just like that. So now we're gonna copy it. And then we're gonna go back to Cydia. And then we're going to tap edit and then add and then do batch mode. Once you do batch mode, you can see it lists all of those sources. Tap yes and then it's going to add all of those sources. So we'll give it a second because this can take a little while just because sometimes it hangs up depending on the source and if you're not getting uh, a response from that source. Obviously it didn't take too long. So now you can see if we scroll through here, we have a ton of different sources that we can download tweaks from. So that's awesome. 
So at this point, if you find a lot of these tweaks that are in the compatibility sheet, you're most likely not going to have to type in a source in order to get that tweak. Now, of course, there may be some on here. I haven't gone through every single one of them, but for the most part, you should be pretty much set. So that should make things a whole lot easier. Now, if you install a bad tweak and you're having issues with your device, then this right here, this link, which will be in the description, is going to show you how to enter safe mode and remove bad tweaks. So if you need to remove a bad tweak, just follow these steps right here and you should be able to remove that bad tweak and then fix your device. Now I do have a few jailbreak tweak videos that are very recent that you guys can check out. I'll put a link in the description below if you guys wanna look at those and start downloading some of those tweaks, then you can do that. Or if you wanna wait for a top tweak video for iOS 13, then I'll make one of those if you guys are interested. All right guys, I just wanna do a really quick video to get you guys off on the right foot. So hopefully this helps you out. All right guys, that's all I got for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure you hit that like button. Of course, if you guys wanna stay up to date with everything jailbreak, Apple, or any other tech that I wanna cover, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on those bell notifications, and I will see you guys in the next video.